the eggs were fertilized about a day and a half ago. It's supposed to only take 48 hours for the eggs to hatch and the fry to start dropping from the nest. So I'm thinking by tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening, any time tomorrow, these eggs should hatch. And hopefully I get a good shot of it because little fry are awful cute to watch. Little fish fry. So far, everything's going good. He's taking real good care of the nest. Oh, an egg fell. Grab it. He'll put it back. He puts it back up in the nest when the eggs fall. And during like the first, oh, lots of eggs are falling. Poor guy, he's having a hard time keeping them up there. Mm. Keep him dead. Anyway, um, when the um, fry get big enough or when they hatch they'll fall out of the nest too and for the first couple of days he'll swoop them up just like their eggs and and swoop the fry back up and put them back up in the the nest they they'll feed off of a yolk sack for a day or two and then we start well I'll start feeding them live food the day they they hatch but they may not eat it for a couple of days. It's actually kind of difficult to get them to eat the fry. So even though there's hundreds of eggs, um, it's, you know, you may not get hundreds and hundreds of fish just simply for the fact that, you know, survival, survival of the fittest kicks in and not all of them survive. But he's been a good beta fish. He's trying to keep his eggs up in the nest, but they are falling like crazy. And he's doing everything in his power to put them back. He's got a lot of work to do for the next couple of days. And even though I've tried to feed him, it hasn't done any good. He hasn't eaten anything. So he's just a, a worker bee right now trying to keep his big family alive. <laughs> Eggs just constantly fall out of the... I'm trying to keep his area well lit so he'll be able to see the eggs falling and pick them back up and take them back up to the nest. Good going, Brad. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs>